We're all going to Kari's house. Right, the moment is ready. There's a few extra bits on the bike which weren't there before, but we'll uh, cover that um, in the second part of this video. Right, let's get out for a ride. It's a nice day, as you can see. In the sky, beautiful. So, I'll ride down the coast and I'll report back um, when I'm down there. Let's go. Hey there, welcome back. Um, just finished the ride. Nearly two hours, um, about 33.6 miles, about. That's pretty accurate. Um, bike is superb. I can't fault it, um, apart from the headset, um, expander plug, you know, just bedding in a little bit. Same as Oz Cycles. Yeah, the, the uh, headset, a bit, a bit rally when I finished. But apart from that, bike is fantastic. Wheels are fantastic. Um, loving the uh, the new position. Very different from the Rebay. More compact. Um, perfect saddle position. Brilliant. Not not um, as much road shock as I expected through the seat post. Because I used to have a Zert seat post and um, that was supposed to take the road vibrations out. But also what I did find that if you went over a little bump in the road, it would almost be like a springboard. It would compress and then chuck you off off the seat. Um, so that's quite interesting. Also getting, used, getting uh, back used to the power saddle is... Um, interesting because i've just been on a spinning bike which is all like a baggy cushiony saddle but this one i mean it wasn't painful but it was you know just getting used to that uh number two saddle again the, the uh, padding level number two uh trying to think if anything i didn't like about it no nothing as soon as I got on it, I rode about 100 metres and I was giggling, thinking this this is going to be cool. I unfortunately didn't take my 4 mil Allen key with me because <coughs> my cleats um, on my new shoes were a little bit too far back, so I was getting hot, hot, um, hot feet, like a hot spot. Um, I came back uh, to the house. Not straight away, but once I'd been down the coast and back, I uh, came back, moved the, moved my right one forward, um, a whole square on the uh, bunt grid, and the left one half a square forward. Um, went around the block again, which is about two or three miles, and uh, I'll try that on my next ride. I may move the left one forward again, but um, apart from that, awesome, stiff. You can react in the sprint, handles okay. A little bit, uh, it was a little bit windy today. Um, so crosswinds are a little bit getting used to, uh, especially when we were coming downhill, uh, down towards um, a hotel called the Imperial. Uh, quite a steep downhill, very twisty, like chevrons everywhere telling you it's bending and, and um, the wind blowing straight up there so as you're turning the wind's blowing across you and with the 60 mil uh, rim it was a little bit jittery on the front but but um no handling brilliant just like Oz Cycle says fantastic can't fault it I can't fault it it's, it's stiff it reacts it, it it handles it's a nice nice geometry it's compact um which is really good for me. No hand numbness. I usually get it quite a lot. Weren't wearing my gloves. Um, wasn't wearing my gloves, rather. Very English. And um, uh, can't fault that bike. Very happy with uh, with the bike I've created. Fantastic. Big thanks to Yolio for that frame. Awesome. Um, very happy I'll be doing lots of miles on that. Oh, I'm gonna cut off that spacer on the top of my stem. 
I mean, first time on it, two hour ride, and just felt like that's the perfect height. So I'll have that chopped off, get that um, stem as it should be, and uh, we'll be good. I reckon that's uh, that's going to be about it. So um, I'm going to do a video or more videos just on the bits that I've added to it. Um, I said I would at the start of this one. Um, I've got uh, through axles. We've got uh, pedals you've already seen. I've done a video on those. Um, that aero water bottle is quite cool. I like the way it stays on. Very quick, very good to use. Worth getting, I would think, if you're interested. I'll have a little video on that. Um, Synchro Shift works brilliant, especially with the new 1132 cassette I bought. Dumped out the 28, that's on eBay, and um, put an 1132 on my short cage uh, dual race derailleur. Um, with the Synchro Shift, that works perfectly because I can't change it into a 5032. The Synchro Shift won't allow it. Excuse me. So, um, that, yeah, it's perfect. I mean, I used 3432 today up up one of our Strava segments called the Buzzard. Um, I didn't complete it all because when I got up there, I just started taking pictures of everything. Um, wasn't even tired and usually I'm quite tired going up there. Uh, so, Synchro Shift awesome. Get it. Get it while you can. And, um, that's going to be the end of this video. So um, I hope that's been of some use. Um, let me know in the comments below and I'll um, get back to you. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye now.